All right, so what I'm going to attempt to do today is construct my own AC condenser mister system. Um, seen a couple of the kits online run about a hundred bucks where it uses a, uh, a flapper valve that uses the condenser fan to essentially lift a, uh, a little air flap and that's what turns the water on and off. Um, the downside to that is the reviews are very mixed. Most of them say it only lasts about a year. Uh, the, the valve assembly was very cheap. Um, they leaked, yada yada yada. So my idea was instead of relying on a mechanical valve and the airflow um, to do this with irrigation stuff and use a solenoid controlled water valve. Uh, these operate on 24 volt AC which happens to be the same voltage um, and, um, as uh, thermostat wiring. So my idea is to have this valve controlled by uh, the AC call. So whenever the thermostat wiring, which comes into uh, the condenser unit here, it's right behind this panel, uh, calls for air conditioner. The 24 volt signal is what triggers the contactors inside of um, the condenser unit. So uh, these solenoids are very low current. Um, so it, uh, a thermostat transformer is not going to have any problem. Uh, these are spring assisted. Um, so what I've got here is, and I'm fortunate enough to have a hose water tap right here by my condenser. Um, everything you see here, including the wire, everything on here, including the valve, ran me 67 bucks. There's a kit on Amazon that essentially does the same thing. They want $400 for it. And the mechanical type with the flat valve runs about 100 bucks. Um, everything you see here, which yeah, I might need another trip to Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm pretty sure I got everything I need. Um, but yeah, 67 bucks, tubing, misters, everything. They only had six of these misters in stock. Um, I wanted eight, two for each side. Uh, so these are about $3. So I may have to go back and get two more. Um, but let me kind of put the kit together and I'll show you all the, let me run through the pieces. So we have a three quarter inch garden hose, which is not the same as MPT. Three quarter inch garden hose to the Rainbird hose connection. So that'll come out of the water filter. Um, water filter is coming from Amazon and that water filter is going to have three quarter garden hose to three quarter garden hose. That'll go into this. There'll be a short piece of this pipe that then runs to one of these fittings. And I couldn't, oh crap, I got two of the same ones. Oh, well. I could not find one of these that has a three quarter male thread. So I got some three quarter um, union, or not union, um, pipe nipple. So it'll go from filter, garden hose adapter to pipe, short piece of pipe goes into here, then this to a uh, adapter, adapter to solenoid valve, another adapter on the solenoid valve to another adapter. Then this hose is going to wrap around the middle. So I'll zip tie that to the middle of the condenser all the way around. This is like a, a plug so it just kind of plugs off the end of it. And then you use these little tools to poke a hole into the pipe. And then these misters just fit into that hole. And we'll see how good this works. So let me kind of mock it up real quick and that'll give you an idea of what it looks like. So here's where I'm at so far. Um, like I said, I don't have the filter yet. So filter will uh, go between here once I get that. This is what the setup on the valve looks like. So um, pipe to three quarter female connector, three quarter pipe nipple, three quarter valve, three quarter pipe nipple, and then another three quarter adapter to pipe. 
and then this is the pipe coming off of the condenser that'll go into that connection and as you can see it basically just kind of starts from over there it's just zip tied goes around and then it ends with this um, whatever this is can't remember what they called it in the store but it's just a plug for the end of this connection so now what I'm gonna do is remove the electrical cover and um, go over the thermostat wiring and how to make this solenoid work so here we are with the cover off and uh, of course remember anytime you remove that cover always take out your disconnect or fuses depending on what you have um, what we're looking for this is all the high voltage stuff here we don't need to mess with that um, you see I've got a 521 hard start kit as well um, this is the thermostat wiring and this is a heat pump unit um, so you can never really go by the colors you should always test them just to make sure because you never know whether that installer um, yeah I don't know that there is a standard um, okay so I think I've yep there it is uh, just called it just in time so black wire is uh, the common and the yellow wire is the AC call. At least that's what it is on my system. So as you can see here on my system, um, the blue wire is the common. Um, 24 volt common, so it's like the neutral. And the yellow is the AC call. So when the AC is on, uh, 24 volts is applied to this. And then that's what turned that contactor on, which was the loud click you just heard. Um, I believe the yellow wire is also on during heat, but I'm just going to shut the water off in the winter. It really doesn't matter. Um, so up here on the board here, uh, that's where I was probing, common, and air conditioner. So I've got a Wi-Fi controlled thermostat. Um, so what I'm going to do while recording this video is um, switch to that app and cut the AC off. Just turn the AC off. And uh, should see that drop here in just a second. There we go. So I'm going to I'm going to wire in the power for the solenoid off of uh, those two wires right there. And I do have some um, using this irrigation wire. Um, it's got a thicker PVC or some type of jacket, so uh, it's good for UV exposure, burial, whatnot. So I'm going to get that wired up to the solenoid valve and we'll test it out. So here's the irrigation wire wired in. And I, <laughs> it's kind of notched a little notch to uh, get that wire going through. But here's the electrical connection. See the cable coming off of the condenser unit to the um, wires right here and these indoor I'm sorry these outdoor um, wire nuts are awesome they've got a dielectric grease already in there uh, with a little gasket and then I'm gonna just tape it really really well and that should last long enough all right about to do a test here uh, everything's hooked up but not mounted And uh, for right now, I just have a hole pressed where I'm going to put one of the misters. Um, but to evacuate air and whatnot, I'm just going to leave it a hole for right now until I test it out. So first thing is uh, water. All right, no leaks. Everything's tight. And no water flow. So I'm going to switch over and cut the air on. Just cut the AC on. So I'm going to wait for the contactor to close. I still have the fuse pulled, so it's just going to be the contactor. Um, just have a hole pressed right now. So 
And there we go. Solenoid uh, works just fine. And wow, just pressing a hole in that thing actually makes a, a pretty good mist. All right, solenoid just clicked off. And we are bleeding water pressure. So there you go. About 67 bucks worth of uh, Rainbird irrigation parts. And you have an electric controlled, leak free, maintenance free. Um, Mr. Free your AC. Just need to add the water filter. Uh, so I guess that brings the total to about 87 bucks. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and install these misters here. And we'll see what that looks like. So I've got three of the misters hooked up. Um, this thing moves a lot more water than I thought. So I'm going to see how just these three do uh, before I put the other three in. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. AC just kicked on. It's a lot of water. Doesn't atomize it quite as good as I want. So I may change out those tips. It's a pretty fine mist though. So let's go ahead and uh, all right. Yeah, that appears to be uh, sucking the mist back in. We just got a big gust of wind at the same time. So that's on uh, about 50% there. It's not on all the way. Yeah, I don't want to remove uh, the pressure. I need to turn the flow down. Um, I think three is going to be plenty. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but uh, it is actually drawing in uh, some of the water. Just turn the AC off. <laughs> there it is. And you can see that solenoid shuts the water off automatically. Uh, that works perfectly. So I'm going to let it run like this for about a week, see how it does. Uh, filter should be here in a couple days, so I'll add the filter. Even though North Carolina doesn't have, uh, or where I'm at, I'm at, doesn't have a lot of calcium in the water. And my water is not very hard. Um, I'm still going to put one. So we'll run this uh, for a week and I'll make an update if necessary. But there you go, 67 bucks worth of uh, Rainbird irrigation parts. And you've got an electronic, automatic, controlled um, AC condenser mister system. It's a mouthful. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.